There he is. is. Charlie Carbs and Cycling. <laughs> Entire killer, absolute horrible climb. It's been made famous as Tori got the KOM, a uh, cure, I'm sorry, a couple of days ago, and Harley was saying no female rider could beat Tori. Um, unfortunately, they did. But we paced Tori up before this, um, and she did well. She did 320 watts, I think it was, or something. And, um, 315 watts, and she got second, a uh, third overall, so it was pretty solid. But anyway, here we are. We're going in a Kintai Killer. It's a 9% 1k av average. Pretty, pretty like flat at the beginning. So you can see we get up to 41 2k's now here. As we rail this corner, I could check there was no cars and just sprint out up to 500, 600 watts here just to really try and get the speed up here. Because I knew that Tim Hedger, who is the KOM, is fucking fast. He's super fast. So I really need to get a big advantage at the bottom. We had a, we had a good win today. Uh, not gonna lie, the tail was solid. You can see here it's really starts to ramp up. It's probably the gradient's a little bit, a couple seconds behind. Like it's not 3% here, it's more like 6 or 7. You'll see it ramps up. We're still going like 30k's now on a sort of 6 7% climb, which is horrible. And I knew for this effort I need to hold about 400 watts for the whole thing. Is my power meter reading high? I probably think it is, maybe by 10 watts. Or I'm just worried because Tori is about the same weight as me. Her power meter is reading way lower. Louis is a bit heavier than me. He's re reading like weird as well and I'm just like oh, I'm so confused but anyway it doesn't really matter what the power is because we got the KOM and Tim Hedger did about 400 watts and he maybe weighs a little bit a little bit more than me and I did 400 watts and got the KOM so that's probably not too high um, I think he weighs about 64 63 he says something about that and anyway so you can see here Dan started behind me, Louis started behind me, and um, this is where it really starts to bite. We're about 1 minute 30 into the effort, and it's just absolutely brutal. It just stays 10, 30 percent. You can see we're going like 17 k's an hour up at 11 percent grading. So Dan comes past here, and this is perfect timing because I was just about to like, you know, settle down, but I was like, all right, I have this. And Dan comes around, I'm like, right, I've got to hold his wheel. And you can see the watts drop immediately, and that was weird. Even though we're only going 18 k's an hour, there is a draft. And at this point, I was like, I feel pretty confident I can drop Dan now because I was knew I was just going to draw for a bit and as soon as I feel solid as soon as I feel like he slows down on a steep part because I have I, he's changing gears a bit more than me I don't really have any option of changing gear I'm just in my lowest gear um, and I'm just holding the wheel as much as I can and there was some roadworks here it was like literally disastrous like Louis got held up behind because of some stupid roadworks it was fucking nightmare but anyway you can see here this guy saying slow and we are fucking flying up this climb we're up to like 16-17% at 15k now this is super fast um, it might not look too like that crazy but it was absolutely horrible you can see we got up to 430 here we're still going and I say cheerio Dan thanks for the tow I'm going and Dan I think he said he was just like couldn't go any harder it was just on his limit and I get past and you can see here the watts are starting to slow down a bit we're getting down to 360 and then things that surged so much at the beginning at the beginning if you had to lead out it would help so much but it's pretty much solo for most of this climb which I'm not happy about because it means I know I can definitely get drop a couple seconds if I've got to lead out and really rail that corner even faster maybe even got up to 50 k's an hour just to destroy the corner. You can see now the powers are getting super surgy because I'm really struggling at the last part. I went really hard. I'd done four times 10 minute efforts before, but this was like really killed me. And you see the watts are going down here, and this is not good. I think I was just making sure I was in the right gear, and I remember just getting out the saddle here and just absolutely giving it everything. I was like, this is it. I can see, I can see Tori at the end that she's exactly where the, the line is. I was like, fuck, here we go, 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 go. And I had no idea if that, like Dan was behind me, and I had the garment thing. I could see it was getting up to like 315, which was the KOM. I was like, all right, everything, everything, all the way, all the way, all the way. And you just got to think, right, right, I've done three minutes. This is it. Come on, come on, come on. And I just got it. I got about 312 or something. And you'll see, like, I'll show you some clips afterwards. I am absolutely cooked. Like, I was just going so hard. Like, you'll see here, like, Dan, he's only a couple seconds behind me. And both of us were just coughing for the next, like, five to ten minutes. It was just really horrible, these short, brutal efforts. Uh, but it was so much fun. I really hope Tim Hedger doesn't nab me, but Tim, give it a go if you want to. I think you'll probably take it off now, I think, because you're a pretty strong rider. Uh, yeah, cheers for watching. I'll show you some other clips after this one. See ya. Fuck you, like I'm never gonna powering. Go, 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 go! Go, Charlie, go, Dan! You're always there! Push, 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 push to the limits! Yes! Go, go, no, always there, Dan! Good job, boys! Fuck, they cooked. Oh. Guys, that was you awesome! Made, you got the K. You did it? Did you get KOM? Do you reckon? No words?
Charlie, did you get KOM, do you reckon? Yeah. Fuck! Actually, get a draft, there's like three wheels. Oh, you guys smashed it. Dan, what do you, how did you go? Second? I'm all right. I managed to change gears too, too soon on the steep bit, so both of you were dropping me. Then for a while, I was like, got up to Charlie's wheel, went ahead of him, and then I, he was sitting on my wheel for a while, which was good, because I owed him for the start where I, I wasn't actually holding the wheel properly. Yeah. And I was gonna meant to lead him into that after he turned the corner. But then, uh, you basically, guys... it was then each for their own around this last corner. I think I was stomping Sprinting. into too big of a gear. I knew it was still a long way, like another three, four hundred meters. I'm like, I can't keep that up. Not, not like that. So I went down a gear. He went past. I was just trying to stay as close to him as I could. You guys smashed it. You <laughs>